Hi everybody, my name is Zach Katia, Group Product Manager. I'm going to be demoing reference lists today inside Gray Matter. Reference lists are a place to store dataset lookups that can be leveraged within the capabilities of Gray Matter. Today, this functionality is integrated within Investigate and Hunt. Why is this feature impactful? This reduces the complexity and the need for tool hopping by allowing users to store information like asset and user details within a consolidated interface, as well as support custom data point use cases. Analysts often require additional context when creating queries or reviewing event data as part of their investigation or hunts. Let's review how reference lists can help improve efficiency with that problem. Data can be entered into gray matter lists themselves, either through manual entry or through bulk update methods, similar to a CSV import. Once data sets are saved within the reference lists, users can generate a query leveraging those contents with using easy to choose conditions defined in the lists. Users no longer need to be experts on complex environments or save static queries. Here's an example. A user wants to query for all traffic destined to an asset defined as critical, but exclude any traffic sourcing from a known vulnerability scanner or authorized service accounts. Now, users can quickly select a list that has all of that information already defined and easily focus in on that activity with generalized values that automatically translate according to all of their integration languages. As impactful as it is to build a query more efficiently and dynamically, being able to analyze event logs with similar added context is where the new data tagging feature comes in and provides additional value. The premise is the same though as query. It's configurable, customizable, and automatic. For every reference list that is enabled for data tagging and has a matching field value in a data set, each log or data point that is ingested into Investigator Hunt will add that context from the reference list. This is seen primarily within the data table view through the field name and reference list column that there was a match. Let's use a hypothetical example here. For the next malware or ransomware alert that is detected in an environment, the mean time to analyze and respond is going to be cut significantly down if the analyst is able to quickly determine and realize that the host that triggered the alert is in the guest network zone and triage that accordingly rather than, let's say it was a critical server in a network zone that houses sensitive data. After filtering down, they also notice that the last user that logged in is an employee out of Dallas is a systems administrator, yet his username is seen logging in from multiple IPs and geolocations in the past several days. Imagine not having this information readily available for you during an investigation and how that would extend the mean time to resolve exponentially. There will be future enhancements on top of these two, so stay tuned and I look forward to talking with you soon.